the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. Hey, how's it going? It's Ron from the Boxing Voice. I'm here with Lennox Allen. How is it going? Man, the camp is going great, man. Here working, get ready to fight next week, next Friday. So this is like our last week of um, like solid preparation. So we're ready to go, actually. Yeah, um, let's talk a little bit about the fight. Um, you have a really big opportunity coming up. Yeah. Um, this, I just want to make sure this is an eliminator for an uh, upcoming title. It, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a WBA intro more title. So, wow. Yeah. So with that being said, um, what do you know a little bit about your opponent um, coming into this fight? Um, basically, you know what? So far, the video that I saw with him is like, you know, he's a boxer. So I'm a boxer too. So. This fight probably gonna got to do a little bit, uh, a little something different because, you know, he's a little bit taller than me at 6'4", I'm 6'2". It's kind of two big guys for 168 pounds, two tall guys for 168 pounds. So it's gonna be a little bit different because he probably never fought anybody, anyone like really as tall as me, and I haven't fought anyone that's 6'4 at 168 pounds. So it's gonna be a little, uh, a little bit difficult for both of us, but I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win. And if you can explain this, you know, because you're a boxing pugilist yourself, you know, what would be a problem that someone who's not used to fighting someone taller um, into a fight, um, considering that they fought people smaller than them, and then they come to you? Um, I don't know what his camp is doing, but I know what we're doing, and what we're going to do is take, do whatever it takes to win, whether it's me boxing or I'm like, I could be re very super aggressive at times. Whatever it takes to win, we're going to do whatever it takes. Whatever the adjustment is, we, uh, we've been working hard and, you know, our preparation is going to work. Now, with that being said, would you say this is um, the, the biggest fight of your career? Um, I, on paper, yes. But who knows? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe it could be the easiest fight. Who knows? The, in the boxing world, you're never sure until it actually happened. Probably when the fight finished, then you could ask me that question, and then <laughs> I would give you, I would probably give you a better answer. But for now, you know, we're doing whatever it takes. Absolutely, and and um, and I also want to just talk a little about your um, your training here. You know, what's it like to train at you know Atlas, and and then the great trainers that you have here. You yeah, know? Um, I've been with Sosa for five years actually. I actually was like the first professional fight that he had. Oh wow. Yeah, before any one of those guys like Miller or. Little B Hop or any one of those guys. Before B Hop turned pro, I was actually here. So I'm like probably the veteran professional fight he got here. Would, would you say like guys like Chris come up and you know, and you've been around, you've seen all these guys come up. Um, were you kind of like a mentor a little bit too, as like a big brother too? Yes, we um we we family here. Um, I got some kids. We family here. If you notice, every time somebody walked in, you gotta shake each other hand. If I don't know if you was paying attention, <laughs> but that's, that's how we do things. It's very strict here. You know, it basically here is basically pointing you in the right direction. Instead of being on the street, you know, you could come here. If you notice, we in, we in the project. So, you know, a lot of kids get straight away, like, do the wrong things around here. So, you know, our job is to keep everybody in the right direction. Absolutely. And, and you know, um, with that family uh, approach in, in, in the gym, um, you, you get a little family love at uh, your hometown um, coming with that. How much support do you get from your, you know, your birthplace um, coming into this fight? Actually, I got a whole lot of people coming out, uh, actually flowing out there. You know, we never, we didn't, we, my country, the pop. Uh, what, what city or what specific were you born in? in your I, was, um, I was born in uh, Joshua, Guyana. Grow there, I came here when I was 20. Um, been here for a while now. You know, Brooklyn is my home, but my birthplace is Guyana. Started my professional career there. And you know, everyone here. You, know, you see, if you notice, guys come in and out from up from my hometown. Yeah. Come and show some love. Because this is a big opportunity for me, because we, our, my country is very small. It's, it's like a million people. So, you know, we had like four out of world champions. So boxing is a big thing back there. So me getting the opportunity of putting us on this platform, for me becoming world champion, it's a big deal. This is, this is a beautiful story, and with that, I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna get a lot of flags and and, and, and ring walk. Are we gonna get?
some of the hardcore rap or we're gonna get some you know oh uh, the reggae music i'm more it's funny because i'm somebody was asking me that so so even my trainer think i'm into the the dance hall reggae music but yeah. i'm like i'm like more on the hip-hop side but it doesn't matter to me if i'm very low-key i'm a very low-key guy so i don't i don't have a big entourage if you notice i don't have a big entourage so you know my, my when i come to gym for focus and do what i gotta do work out and then Go about my business. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, entitled betting shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.